So we're gonna start off by applying the edge control to push back our edges so no glue gets on our edges because we need those. So when we put on the cap, we're gonna cut the center part of the cap to take out our ears. So when we apply the glue, we can get down our sideburns around the cap just to make sure that nothing gets on our hair. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Cream Foundation. You're going to put your shade all over the cap, all over the cap, all over the cap while the glue is drying on our hairline. Then I'm going to spray the Ebon Holding Spray on the ear tabs to make sure that when I cut the cap, my ear tabs don't come up because that's a problem a lot of people have. Now after cutting the cap, we're going to go in again with more foundation because sometimes after you cut it, you can still see the color of the cap and we don't want that. We want it to be completely melted when we put our lace on. So we're going to cover wherever we see the cap color is and put our foundation over that part. Now when we apply the glue, I like to put it above the cap and on the cap so when I spread it, it lays down flatter and more melted rather than if I just put it on the cap and it still shows the hairline part of the cap when I put my wig on. So I put it on both together so that once it's dry, you can't even see that the cap is there. Now you know the glue is dry when it's completely clear. If it's not clear, it's not dry and when you put your lace on, you're gonna see the white tackiness of the glue and we don't want that. Now when you put your lace on, you wanna make sure that you do it in sections so that you know each part is actually on there properly and there's no lumps or bumps on the wig. So this time I decided to do a side part on my reinstall. Now when I do my baby hairs, I like to part my side part baby hairs a little over the part and after. Now this trick is like golden and a ritual to me. After my lace is down, I spray the Ebon Holding Spray over the entire lace and tie it down with my melt band until I finish completely styling my install. So when I take my band off, there will be no case, no lace, no nothing. Now with curly wigs, sometimes it's very dense. So to flatten it takes a little work. I like to use Pump It Up Spritz and I'm gonna spray it and mold down with my hot comb until I am satisfied and it is flat to my liking. Some people like it to be a little more bigger since it's curly hair, I kinda like the top part to be a little flatter. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more with my hot comb. Another trick is on your part you can put a little foundation there and then use your tinting spray with a comb over the part 
in smaller sections to get a cleaner and smaller part than what you plucked. Depending on how you like your baby hairs, you can use an eyebrow razor or a small scissor. Twist the hair and cut at an angle so when you swoops it, I don't know if that's a word, but when you swoops it, it doesn't look like it's all one length. And I use my Ebon Edge Tamer that I swear by on my edges for my wig as well. If you struggle to do baby hairs, use your finger as a guide to hold the top part of the baby hair as you swoop it so that it stays in place as you like them. And you can go over as much as you want. Now that my baby hairs are laid, I am using a little mousse on the hair and just running my fingers through it. But I also do use a spray bottle with water and spray it depending on the feel because mousse does tend to make it a little hard. So if you just want it soft, you can use water, but it's going to get puffy right back as soon as it goes into the heat. Guys, this wig was laid to the gods, okay?